How's it going, guys? It's Poetry Side, and welcome back to another episode of the Dutch Colonial Conquest. That is the name of this campaign, as I decided in my own time. Uh, so the first episodes have gone up. I think episode three has just gone live as of like a few minutes ago. Um, but yeah, it's it's been fun. It looks like people are enjoying this series so far. Um, people, you know, said what they would do in the in the situation and stuff, and. Uh, and yeah, people were actually saying, uh, well, someone, I don't, uh, I don't remember who, but someone in the comments said, um, in my campaign as Brabant, and then I, like, immediately conquered some of Holland, and I was like, I was like, oh, sir, little do you know, I try to, but apparently the game did not have that in store for me. <laughs> Either way, though, I've enjoyed our time so far. It's been a, uh, a unique game so far, and that's for sure. Uh, but it's a new day of recording, obviously, and I, uh, you know, I'm ready to go, I think. We are going to declare war on Austria at some point. Um, I don't know when. We might not do it now, um, but we should do it before they get too strong. But they are going to lose this war. And this is a conquest. It's the French subjugation of Lorraine. So here's the thing. It's like, I don't want France to be too powerful, right? But I do want them to be strong enough to help me destroy the crap out of Austria. So right now they're conquering Lorraine. That's fine. It's Burgundian culture. It's not anywhere... Well, it's relatively close to me, actually. But they're going to probably conquer that at some point anyways, right? So I'm not too worried about that. Um, basically, long term, I don't think I'm possibly ever going to be conquering France, at least not in the early game. They're going to be my friend for a long time, or at least that's the hope. So I don't really worry. England, on the other hand, we might go to war with uh, occasionally. But um, France, I'm not so worried about. So let's just go ahead and get going. I have noticed that we're getting close to new tech time and new idea time, where we will be taking exploration ideas, because we have a lot of Diplo left over, obviously, and also, you know, exploration you need for colonization. Uh, Austria just lost another battle. We should actually check, is there anyone who has Austria is allied to that I might want to eat? No. Hungary, oh my god though, Hungary is getting destroyed. So this is, we need to keep checking, although our truce is still three years away from ending. But if we can get it so that no one will join, uh, we might want to go ahead and declare. The only downside is the fact that France will not join us pretty much no matter what until their truce is over. Maybe we want to wait and just wait till the truce is over, but we might not want to. You know, we, we're going to have to make a decision. We're going to have to make some decisions here, and I'm prepared for that. Uh, our economy is doing fairly well. I'm going to take some of my coffee real quick. Okay. Oh, no. Uh, Bohemia is the papal controller. Interesting. We should go ahead and possibly do this. I normally like doing that. Get some free money. Good chunk of money, actually. Um, and what we'll do is we'll build more buildings and make our economy even stronger because that's never a bad idea um, 375 is not a lot, but neither is any of these production numbers We could build more forts. It might be a good idea to build more forts Especially like at least building one in our capital might be a good idea. I don't know um, Woods are also good to have forts in but I, I don't I don't really know if that's necessary right now um I, so Austria is the emperor, obviously, and they're probably going to continue to be the emperor. And I also realized that Brandenburg is getting quite strong, which is unfortunate because they are my rival. Um, luckily, they're a little bit away from us, so, like, I don't necessarily think it's too risky right now. They're probably not going to, well, they're almost certainly not going to declare war on us anytime soon, which is good. So we're going to go on speed three here until the new year, and then when we take tech, uh, just, you know, just relax. Don't worry about it. We'll just have a nice relax and ride. Okay, protecting the English Channel for now. Sure, why not? We're not going to war just yet. Frisian Separatists, Jelleran Separatists, 50 admin points for free. Uh, yeah, I'll take that. And there we go. We also have 21 years till the next institution fire, so we're doing really well. Okay, so take military, take naval, and take admin. We have all of these. Idea groups, again, I've already decided, the, the whole point of this campaign is colonial, so we're going to go this, you know. I don't know if it's necessarily objectively the right decision, but it's what we're doing, so. <laughs> uh, so get used to it. I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, that's the, it's the, it's what we are going to do. 
you might want to build this production thing here. Let me let me see something real quick. What is your? You get a new one at thirty, so that's probably not gonna happen. Church shipyard. Are there any other buildings we really like to build here ever? No, we'll upgrade the uh, the navy and trade things. And the army isn't the main point of Antwerp, and it's a port, you know, for trade and taxes. So I think we, yeah, you know, what? It, it's a quarter of a ducat a month is significant. You know, it's not the be all end all, but that's quite significant. Quite significant. Ah, I'm just messing. Uh, we have eclipsed Cologne. Cologne. Uh, no, that's not what I meant to do. Um, go ahead and protect trade. Again, as it is a new day of recording, I'm not necessarily super remembering everything that was going on. You are a weak target, I remember. You got like two years left until our truce with Austria is over. They are actually in two wars though. So here's the thing, is that once France gets out of their war, uh, we could possibly do another war and be fine. It depends. The thing is, I, I'm I'm willing to risk it all for that, something like that. Uh, I'm willing to do that even if it <laughs> leads to the death of this campaign and I have to restart this campaign. I'm fine with risking it for that if I think I have a good shot. If I think I have a good chance. Like, uh, Hungary is just getting destroyed. Hungary is not going to be able to do anything in a second, you know. So I'm not too worried about Hungary. Um, we should go up to speed 4, I think. Um, Really? You're gonna go ahead and call me in now, France? Well, that's a little unfortunate, but this is still good. Um, I don't know why they're calling me in now after they've already basically won. Uh, but tell you what, we're gonna go ahead and maybe we'll make these uh, provinces desired provinces and really hope that we get them. Um, those are the only three provinces I care about in the world right now, really, uh, for now. Until I become the Netherlands, that, that's like my, you know, priority number one. But I mean, we have to accept this. There's no way we decline this. It's, that'd be, you know, stupid. <laughs> um, yeah? Okay. Uh, we will go ahead and, I suppose... Oh, that's occupied by Venice. You know what? Hey, hey, watch this. No, don't come here. Yeah, siege that down, and I will not kill you. Siege it down! Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me! Alright, well, whatever. Come on, just stop it. Just stop. Stop! Please! Go siege down Holland so I can siege it. That is the thing I want most from you right now. But yeah, basically, we just need to... Tell you what. No, you know it's you know what's more important, I'm realizing, is getting war participation. Uh, that's what we should do, honestly. Is get some participation. Go smash their army. Oh, they actually made it out of there. Alright, cool. Um... Where are you going, son? Get back here. Basically, now what I'm going to do is go and uh, siege down some of our enemies. So, uh, we need to get war participation if we want to even have a chance at getting a province. I wouldn't even expect that, so don't be expecting much. We probably will not get a province uh, in the peace deal, but we might. Uh, beyond that, we'll get favors. Um, as long as we get to put in any effort into this war. Oh, that's a big old stack of Austrian troops. I'm a little glad I'm not at war with them now. Oh god, and Venice peaced out. Alright, you know what? New plan. Come back to our country and defend a little bit. Oh hey, the, okay, so that since they peaced out, then we can go and siege this area now. This will be our duty. Our sacred duty. Duty. <laughs> I'm, I'm so mature, aren't I? Okay, they're running. That's okay, just go back to our area. Uh, we have 0% participation still. I think that's a little unfair. We killed that one stack. Okay. Let's go over here, siege that down, come over here, siege this down. Tell you what, navies, I'll come out to here, meet up. And then, we 
might have to kill an army here. Okay. France, where? Oh, that's a lot of armies. France, what are you doing? Is Hungary in this? No, they're not. Okay. That's good, at least, but uh, <clears throat> this is not... I mean, like, France versus Austria. This is going to be the test, I suppose, to see if we're going to be able to beat them later uh, with France 1v1, or, you know, basically 1v1. Yeah, you better not be able to make it through. I built these forts for a reason. Well, actually, I had them from the start of the game, but still. Um, yeah, sure, France, but, you know, it's a little annoying. You know, I need those points. France actually might lose this war now. France might lose this war because they are a dummy. Why would you... What are you doing, France? Alright, France, come down here and help me, please. Or up here, rather. You come, come here and attach to me. Hey, our Duke is now strict. That gives us more discipline, which is really good. Come up here and help me kill this army that's sieging on my capital, please. Like, you know, that seems like a good idea. You know, France? Oh my god. Yeah, no, just run back and forth along the coast of Normandy. That is perfectly fine. That's exactly what you should do in this situation, France. You're so smart. How did you know? Oh no, that's fine. Just siege down there. Oh god. They're just gonna let me die up here. I hate that. They're gonna siege my capital down. Unless I do something about it, I'm not gonna be able to, so. There goes all my, you know, war exhaustion. <laughs> uh, yeah, I will do that. Okay, good. You killed the papal state. Now, you gotta peace out, people. You gotta peace out, people, or you're gonna die. Yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna get wrecked. You're gonna get wrecked, France. You're being a dummy. Hey, one of them broke a siege. Okay, here's what we do now. We can probably afford to come in here and blitz these guys, yeah. Yeah, look at that. Just play a little bit risky. Sometimes it pays off. Okay, cool. We're good. We're good. But still, France, you're not playing very well right now. No offense. But also offense. I'm gonna, I'm gonna carpet siege everything, you know? What else do you do? And then we go in the woods and siege this down, I guess. And run if anyone comes close. <laughs> Uh, but I don't know. I mean, like, we're, we should win this war, but who knows if we will. If we lose, it's mostly going to be because France is a little bit of a, a dummy. They're in the woods, but they're going to get the penalty because it's an enemy province. And if you lose that, it's not my fault. But I'm not open, too. So, you know, also F you. <laughs> Alright, let's go hide in Friesland. <laughs> I mean, it's going alright. Like, this war... I mean, it doesn't... It doesn't affect me either way, basically, is the main thing here. It doesn't affect me directly either way. I'm almost certainly not going to get land taken from me. If I do, I will be so pissed. You have no idea. Disputed succession, Brunswick. Oh, I'm immune to have disputed succession. They're a bishop right now, mind. Okay, France, you're gonna get wrecked there. Yeah, why would you do that? France, stick your arm, use your armies in conjunction with one another instead of on their own every single time. How hard is it for you to understand? Oh, look, let's just charge one army in with low morale into an area where it's probably gonna be attacked and then get, you know, a penalty. Good job. Hmm. Silly, silly, silly France. Hmm. I really do hope they give us some, at least some, uh, some land though. When we form the Netherlands, does, does, uh, hmm. 
Hmm. Interesting. Okay, cool. Well, whatever. Um, Flander. Yeah. Yeah, they're sieging back their land. What do you expect, France? What are you doing, France? Are you coming to attach to my army now? That would actually be good. But no, you're not. Okay. Lovely. Go attack your rebels. Yeah, go deal with them. You beat up one of their armies. Good job. Now what are you going to do? Just sit around and do nothing again? I'm not helping. You think I'm helping? You're crazy. <laughs> Ugh. Oh, wow. That's uh, that's not so good. Yeah, France is going to lose some enthusiasm because of those rebels, huh? Makes sense. But, but honest, honestly though, France, what are you doing? You're just running in the mountains. You're in the mountains, suffering massive amounts of attrition and doing literally nothing. Thank you for ending this war. White Peace, five favor. At least we get favors for White Peace. If they had lost, like having to give up anything, we would have uh, actually not gotten any favors. So it would have been actually pointless. But as is, that's decent. That's a, uh, you know, I can, I can live with those terms. Um, Certainly. So, okay, cool. Well, ah, still annoying though, because you know now we can't really ally, uh, or we can't really go to war with Austria. However, they have lost their alliance to Hungary. That's pretty crucial. So basically, in the future, we can declare on them. I don't think we can do it with just France though, because France is dumb. I think all the AI is dumb actually. But I think Denmark, if Denmark is able to keep Sweden loyal, uh, Denmark. You know, Denmark, Sweden, Norway could work. We could get, you know, if we could get Denmark in, I think we could probably win that war. Um, either way, that's going to do it for this episode, I think. Uh, let me check. Are we, uh, we, let's go like a 30 seconds long, but that's pretty much going to do it. Um, it was an all right episode, I suppose. <laughs> Not much has happened. Um, I'm going to buy one of each advisor because I, I do think it, having an advisor... Even like the the jump from levels from ze no advisor to one advisor is super important. Like proportionally, it is worth it. I'll, like many 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 times over. <laughs> um, yeah, it's it's good. Speed of succession. Invest in ideas. We might as well do it now. All right, and we'll get trade efficiency soon too. Uh, I always go with uh, this one because like it if you miss. Basically, in my opinion, if you miss a single uprising and then it fires and you don't get there in time, then you basically have, like, destroyed the benefit from, like, 30 years of having extra global settler increase. It's not, it's not worth it. And it's less micromanaging as well, so it's more just fun. It's just fun. You just don't have to worry about stuff as much, um, you know? So, hopefully you understand, but I'm not gonna micromanage everything. Let's go and build that there, actually. Um... I do think we should build a fort in our capital. It's expensive and it's gonna cost us more money once it's built, but it's good, I think. But yeah, that's gonna do it for this episode, so thank you guys for watching. Go leave a like and subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of the Colonial Conquest. So till then, bye bye